Good morning from Glendoic, another sunny April morning. This week we're looking at alpine plants. Essentially it's any plant that lives in high mountains, above the tree line, out in the open. It doesn't have to be from the Alps, it can be from the Himalayas, it can be from the Andes in Chile, it can be in the mountains of uh, Tasmania in Australia. But uh, these plants grow out in the open in exposed areas, they're usually pretty tough. Um, they often grow in screes and rocky mountainsides and they're wind tolerant. In fact, ideal really for Scottish conditions, which is why alpines are a very popular plant to grow in Scotland. In this display here, we've mulched all these little alpine plants with rocks and slate chips. I really like slate chips for this. The great advantage of that is it stops the weeds coming up, but it also looks, they also look very nice and it mimics the conditions that many of these plants grow in in the wild, growing in crevices and cracks in rocks and so on. The great thing about these plants is that if you've only got a small garden, you can really cram in a lot of, uh, of plants. We've got a tabletop garden as a demonstration. It's probably two and a half meters by a meter and a half. And we've got about 25 different plants in here for uh, pretty much season long color, starting in March, April, with some of these early alpines here, like saxifrages and Primula denticulata. What we're looking at here is gardening in a truly miniature scale. If you really have got very little room, little alpine troughs like this filled with alpines are absolutely perfect. You can fit them in a little courtyard or even possibly on a window box. The ultimate in miniatures here is a tiny little two rocks and two little plants. It's evergreen. It's also got a lovely little piece of lichen here. So this is probably the ultimate miniaturization of gardening for those with very little space. And you'll see these alpine troughs here are um, finished off with little rocks and uh, grit and little chips, sometimes in different colors, which makes them look good all the year round. Or you can um, start yourself with an empty trough the most important thing is to make sure that the drainage hole is not blocked up. So it's good to put a piece of crock or a, or, a, or a little stone on the top of that. And they like gritty soil. So when you're mixing your compost, get some grit to add into the, to the compost because most of these plants need really sharp drainage. So if you need any more information about alpines or any of the other things that we've been discussing on these videos or any aspect of gardening, pop into Glendoic Garden Centre on the Perth Dundee Road, visit, visit our website www.glendike.com and uh, like us on Facebook and that way you'll get these videos every week when they come out. Mm -hmm.